It was a peaceful morning in the Crucible. Here I thought I could get some True Prophecy gameplay, but what I got was even better than that. This gameplay is an absolute gem, and I edited it to... Wow, that's edited it? Edited? Wow, that's tough to say. We're gonna try something else. And I edited this video to speed up the boring parts because when you want to punish a teabagger, you of course don't want to make as many mistakes, which is a little bit more passive of gameplay. So I mini montaged it. Hope you enjoy. Jeffrey, fetch me my gun skill. I know you all really enjoyed the teabagger justice videos, but a lot of the comments in those videos is still pretty negative despite what you might think. For example, you'll see the common, it's just teabagging, they're just hitting a button in a video game, why are you getting mad about it? Well, to stay ahead of this comment, I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. Since players have been able to crouch, teabagging has been a part of video games ever since. It is a form of unwritten communication, and it's really hard to infer exactly what the opponent is trying to say when they teabag. It could be a salutation, it could be in jest, or sometimes it can be just straight up taunting, which can be a mental tactic to try to tilt you so that you play worse. Again, teabagging could be any number of things, and I've been gaming so long that I just don't care to find out what they're trying to say when they teabag. So, if anything, they're just setting themselves up for potential embarrassment if they're going with that taunting route. Me personally, I like using teabagging to send an unwritten message that what you're doing is making the game very unfun, and it sometimes results in a rage quit, which makes the next couple matches a lot more enjoyable for the rest of the lobby, at least in my opinion. I'm not trying to be an arbiter of what is fun and what is not fun, because that's ultimately up to you. But for me personally, it becomes a pretty easy decision when my opponents are breaking the game. An example could be the Lament Sword Hilt in Gambit, the Prometheus Lens in PvP when it instant killed, Infinite Hammers, Infinite Quiver, Out of Bounds, etc. Those are all some easy teabag targets. But the ones where it's a bit of a gray area would be like using Shards of Galanor and Blade Barrage in Mayhem. Because of people who do that, I just simply don't play the mode, because otherwise I'd be teabagging literally every player. At the end of the day, when it comes to teabagging, I follow a pretty simple protocol. 
Did I get teabag first? If the answer is yes, then the floodgates are pretty much open. But don't expect me to retaliate until the match is well over, and they'll look pretty silly for doing it. The second rule is if I personally know the person, then teabagging is an excellent way to show them that you either did something cool or you appreciate the cool thing they did to you. The third rule is my last resort. Otherwise, I seldomly bag, it's very rare for me. If there's a degenerate playstyle, something broken, or just something that makes your gaming session unfun, consider using the teabag to riskily try to get them to stop. Maybe it will make them realize that there is a human opponent behind the screen and they might change it. But then again, this is a game and they're having fun and who are we to tell them to stop? If you're watching this video as it comes out, keep in mind I am doing a charity stream for game to give via Children's Miracle Network Hospital and that is live at twitch.tv slash kamikakes 4 p.m. Eastern. That is 1 p.m. Pacific time. This year, I'm keeping my charity incentive sparse yet meaningful, so you can choose my loadout for a video for $100, and I'll shout you out on it, so let me know the subclass, exotic armor, weapon, and maybe a note on what gameplay loop you want me to go for. And for the biggest donation, for the entire month of January, you get to choose my subclass. And I'll use it on every video, and every stream, and maybe by the end of it, I'll master that subclass. Who knows? It'll be pretty funny when I'm trying to get a raid group together and they're like, Yo Cam, switch to a 2 minute grace, switch to Healer Warlock, and I'm like, I can't. I'm stuck on Chaos Reach the whole month. It'll be great. In addition to my incentive, Bungie is also rolling out their own incentive, so stop by the stream and you can get yourself some goodies in-game, a ghost, or an emblem. Thanks for hearing me out, maybe stopping by, maybe donating. Regardless, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video.